everyone welcome to my channel my name is Lisa and today I'm going to be going over my August paycheck number one budget and this is going to be for August the 6th through August the 19th all right so as usual I am using the clever fox dotted notebook I went ahead and wrote down all of my categories to save a little time if you're interested in picking up the Clever Fox Dotted Notebook or in the Paper Mate Flair pens or it, really anything that I use, I don't think I have the, the calculator linked, but for the most part, everything is linked down below in the description box. I have some affiliate links. If you choose to use them, um, I will make a small commission, which is appreciated. But if you would prefer not to use an affiliate link, let me know and I will try to get a regular Amazon link for you. So let's go ahead and talk about this budget. Um, so the first thing is my income. I have um, a salary job. I am paid bi-weekly and my income is $1,500. I did round this off to 15. Um, the remaining amount, which is I think around 20, 20, $25, it goes automatically into my IRA account. So I'm only budgeting 1,500. Moving on to my fixed expenses. The first expense is a P.O. box. I did decide to get a P.O. box for YouTube. I will have the address linked down below if you want to use it. Um, I did pay this in full. So it is $188 and that is for 13 months. Next is my rent, and I'm going to go ahead and set aside half of my rent, which is $250. Then we've got the electric bill, also setting aside half, and that would be $75. The water bill, half of that is $15. Half of the internet bill is 46. And then the lawn bill, this is gonna be for one mow and one, uh, for them to come out one time to mow and weed eat, and that is $70. Then we have the Apple bill, that is for Apple storage and also for Apple One, I think is the, the name of it, where you have Apple TV, unlimited downloads, and that kind of good stuff. And that is going to be $12, and that's half of that bill. Then we have Netflix, and half of Netflix is seven. Half of Hulu is going to be seven. AT&T, which is my cell phone bill, half of that is 22. Then we have the gym, and half of that bill is 13. Uh, I've got a Chewy order, and that is going to be $35, and that is half. So I haven't ordered from Chewy yet. My daughter's been using Chewy for quite some time, but I have not and I have gone on their website and I think my order would be around $70. So this is half of that. And at the end of the month, when I've saved the full 70 from both August paycheck one and two, then I'll make a purchase. So right now I'm just gonna let that money hang out in my checking account with all of these other bills that, I'm, that I am setting aside half for. And then when the end of the month comes, all of these things will get paid. Hopefully that makes sense. Then I have my renter's insurance and half of that is $25. And my car insurance, now my car insurance is due September the 1st. And I am going, I think my car insurance is $370, $380 for six months, something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and set aside from this check $101, so 101 All right, let's add these up. So I've got P.O. Box is 188 half of the rent, 250 half of the electric, 
water, internet, lawn care, Apple, Netflix, Hulu, the gym. Oh, that was AT&T, the gym. <laughs> uh, Chewy, renter's insurance, car insurance. So that's a total of $866. Then I have cash expenses. So these are the um, expenses that I keep in my wallet or my purse all the time. Actually, not a wallet. It is in my purse. Um, and I forgot to underline these. I don't know why that drives me crazy. So the first um, cash expense is Walmart. The budget is $100 per week. So this paycheck, I'll set aside $200. Then we've got personal spending, and I give myself $10 a week, so that's $20 as paycheck. Medical expenses, also budgeting $10 per week, $20 this paycheck. Gas for my car is also $10 per week, so $20 this paycheck. And last is my daughter, Carol Ann. I am going to give her $60 per week for food and that's gonna be $120 this paycheck. So let's uh, add that up. So there's 320, 40, 60, 80. So 380, I don't need a calculator for that. <laughs> Next are my sinking funds. These are mini savings accounts for things that I know are gonna come up. Uh, trash bill gets paid quarterly. It's gonna be paid again in December and I'll need to save up for that. Christmas, also in December. Um, saving up for that. Um, let's see, car insurance is actually due in September, but I'm gonna start saving now for the bill that will come due in March because that's one thing I didn't do when I paid it earlier this year. I did not do a sinking fund and I really wish I would have. So uh, these are like, what, like I said, small little savings accounts for things that are important to me and um, things that I know I spend money on. So with that being said, the first is trash and I'm going to set aside $8 a week. So that's $16 as check. Christmas gets 25 per week. So that's 50 for this check. My fur babies, I have a puppy and a kitty and they get 25 per week in their sinking fund for vet visits, so that's 50. So the Chewy order is going to include wet food, dry food, uh, kitty litter, um, gosh, what else? Flea and tick, that kind of good stuff. I'll order from Chewy, but um, this is just for vet visits. Then we have gifts, which let me say, thank you guys for letting me know that I left gifts off of my August budget. I did add it and I adjusted my sinking funds total and I adjusted my savings. So instead of 49, I'll only have $9 this month. So um, a lot of big ticket items. So I did add that in. Thank you for those of you who um, did point that out. So gifts is going to get $10 per week. So that's 20 this check. And then my new cell phone um, sinking fund. Thank you to those of you who did uh, mention that I left it off the budget. That was actually intentionally. I probably should have just written it down so I could write a zero. But because I have so many large expenses this month, P.O. box and my car insurance be um, becoming due. I'm not going to budget any money for the phone with my regular paycheck. Now, YouTube will um, pay out on August the 21st and whatever money um, I get on the 21st, that's what I will um, stuff my phone sinking fund with. Um, so next is beauty and beauty's going to get five a week. So that's going to be 10 this paycheck. Then I've got taxes and tags for my car and I'm going to put five per week. So that's 10 this check. Car insurance is going to get $32, which is 16 per week. 
Car maintenance is going to get $25 per week, so that's $50 this check. Clothes is going to get $5 a week, so $10 this check. And last is Amazon, and that'll get three per week or $6 for this check. All right, let's add these up. So we've got 16 for trash. Uh, let's see, 100, 20, 30. And there's 42. 92, 102, plus six is 254 for sinking funds. Now let's take my income to subtract the fixed expenses, subtract cash expenses and sinking funds. So 1500 minus 866 minus 380 minus 254 four is zero. So I have budgeted every single penny of this paycheck. Um, September is going to be a better month in terms of saving because I, again, I won't have these big expenses like I do this month. And I'm hoping that by the end of August, I will have enough money for a new iPhone. Um, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed so that you can, um, you know, watch out for my YouTube income budget video. That will be fun and the envelope stuffing. All right. So that is everything, guys. That is my August paycheck number one budget. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.